Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is second lecture of string theory series and in this lecture we are going to study about string hashing and what are important aspects of that, how it is done and where it is used. So in this lecture we will be focusing on these. First we will be learning what is the problem with uh, string matching, basically you are given two string and you want to uh, compare whether they are equal or not and the solution of it using string hashing the problem with string matching uh, by that I mean but uh, the approach that we have seen in the previous lecture lecture one using sliding window algorithm the second uh, string hashing and collision what are these string matching using hashing when you know how to calculate hash of a string how hashing can be used in string matching and finally a practice problem with for you so let's get started first thing first problem with string matching and its solution using string hashing so now you see the problem is when you want to compare two strings a and b of equal length n because if they are not equal i mean if their length is not equal they cannot be equal right so their length must be equal so given two strings a and b of equal length say n the complexity to compare uh, a and b would be because of n the if you are applying this double equal operator then the complexity of comparison is actually because of n because internally each character of a and b will be compared so ith character of a would be compared with ith character of b for checking the uh, equality of these two strings now here's a solution using string hashing the same comparison can be done in big O of one time so now we again have two strings of equal length a uh, of equal length and the strings are a and b and we want to compare them so in what we will do instead of comparing them what we can do we can compare their hash values instead and this can be done in constant time so see uh, instead of the time of a string comparison reduces from big O of n to big O of 1 big O of 1 basically means constant time now here I, uh, here I am assuming two things first that we already have the hash values because uh, calculating hash values uh, takes time uh, we'll be learning how much time does it takes so uh, I'm assuming we already have the hash values of a and B and also uh, the collision is zero what is collision I'll be explaining you that as well but before uh, we continue uh, if you want to have more free uh, lectures you can always go ahead to an Academy who provides free lecture for every single level for example for beginners level the they have basic uh, programming construct and problem solving lecture introduction to complexity theory basic mathematics like GCD and uh, primality test and so on stacks and queues these are some of the lectures there are many for beginners levels right now for intermediate level they have introduction to trees introduction to segmentary introduction to game theory these are all the concepts that are used in competitive programming all of the concepts like uh, intermediate level dynamic programming and all of the lectures are completely free these are as you can see intermediate level now advanced level for advanced level we have persistent data structure like persistent segmentary and so on then linear algebra introduction to biconnectivity suffix array centroid decomposition fft flows everything and all of these lectures are completely free so if you want to expand your knowledge in competitive programming i would definitely advise you to go through uh, the lectures that you would want to learn there are a lot of lectures which are completely free for you and there is also test series programming re readiness test by code chef you can enroll here for free if you want to test your uh, knowledge in competitive programming this is completely free as well and finally if you think that yes there there of course these are all free lectures and then there are 
there are more and you can always go ahead for one three or one three six or twelve month subscription you can always apply my uh, code and get 10 percent off on all of these like uh, subscriptions first go through these free lectures and see how these guys teach because these are uh, these guys are actually pretty good at their work I know them because uh, most of them are very good at competitive programming most of been most of them have been very good at competitive programming in their time when they were competing uh, in competitive programming like Tanush so this was uh, about the free lectures provided by an academy so let's head back to our lecture so now that we know that a string matching problem can be done uh, can be solved in big of one time let's see how so second thing before we see how let's see what actually is a string hashing so so uh, uh, I'll be taking you through an example suppose there is an organization where are many uh, employees working for this organization right so we have these four guys for example and now there is an assignment of a certain project so uh, the manager guy comes in and tells uh, that okay assign this project to that guy that by that guy uh, I mean you ask which guy so he explains to you okay the guy with uh, orange jacket and blue pants and white boots so you know that he's talking about this guy but of course we know this is not practical and this is not how things go so you can simply uh, uh, tell him that okay he can simply tell the name but the problem here is suppose that the organization is pretty huge like a uh, Google or Microsoft so you see there are hundreds of thousands of people working for that organization so of course the names maybe or uh, more than one guys or employees are there with the same name so uh, assigning the project based on the name is actually not good because that is not how you would uniquely that would not help you uniquely identify that guy right so what is the solution of that is each organization uh, assigns each guy each employee an employee ID or employee number for example you can see here which is of fixed length like here you can see it is six uh, six character long and of certain uh, follow certain pattern and the speciality about employee ID or employee number is that these are completely unique so now that manager guy can tell you that assign this project uh, project to employee with employee ID uh, NT739L so you know exactly what he's talking about this is almost the same concept of hashing in hashing what you do you take uh, an object be it string or it can also be classes or objects you can take them as well and assign them certain keys which represent them but the problem a simple problem with uh, hashing is that it is not uh, it is not free of collision uh, remember the problem I told you about the names why can't he simply say uh, assign this project to Sally or Timmy or any uh, anything like that uh, because we know there there will be more than there there is possibility of more than two people having the same name which results in something called collision uh, collision means the uh, with the same uh, the same key can be assigned to two different people and this is called collision so what is string hashing is that we'll be converting or assigning each string as a fixed length uh, integer we'll be mostly working with integer because comparison of integer is a constant time operation so for each string what we'll be doing is that we'll be passing the string through a hash function a function whose work is to assign or generate string uh, uh, hash values or keys so we'll be passing the string through the hash function hash generator 
and then it will be generating a hash value or hash key which will be assigned to this string basically this hash value would be representing this string and using the hash values we will be comparing the strings there are many uh, hash functions out there and we'll be learning specific hash function which is known as polynomial uh, rolling hashes so we'll be learning about rolling hashes now the third question is how will be using string hashing for string matching so it's as easy as that uh, first of all you must have you must have the uh, uh, keys or his string, uh, hash values of each string so suppose uh, this is hash value of s1 for s2 this is their hash value and for s3 this is their uh, hash value and uh, some kind of hashing function we are using here so now if you want to compare two string uh, say s1 s2 instead of comparing the strings we'll be comparing the hash values and this operation can be done in big of one operation this is the most important aspect of string hashing that is string hashing can be used uh, to perform string matching no matter uh, now you can see that uh, the string matching is actually independent of the size of the string right because it's actually big of one operation yeah the, uh, there is a cost of uh, calculating the hash of course it depends upon the length of the strings but if you already have the hash values to compare the, the characters I mean to compare the string is only going to take big off one time and this is uh, this really is very helpful and uh, this is how it helps algorithm like KMP search to work efficiently this same concept now some points to ponder uh, remember when I was talking about string hashing function when you are performing hashing and you are applying any hashing function the, there are two things you need to take care of first two uh, whenever you are passing the same string they the string hash generator function must assign or generate the same value uh, if you passed say a B and it has generated value uh, say 68 now you are passing a B again it must generate 68 so same uh, same string must have same hash values if your string generator or uh, hash value generator is not able to do that then it is not a good string hashing generator and don't worry we'll be learning about polynomial ro uh, rolling hashes which are good the second thing is uh, second thing is that same hash values basically your hash keys uh, if you if two strings are having the same hash values that means they may be same emphasize I'm emphasize, uh, emphasizing on the word maybe here because it is possible that two different strings may have the same hash if strings are same the hash value would be same no matter what but if two hash values or the keys are equal it it is possible that the strings are same it doesn't guarantee 100% and this is where it gets interesting and this is important for you to know that uh, comparing two string by their hash values uh, this this is basically uh, 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 not 100% accurate because there is probability of error because of collision and we'll be learning how the collision we can almost reduce to zero when we'll be learning in the next lecture about the collision how we can reduce the collision to almost zero so it is possible for two string the uh, it is possible for two string to have the same hash values even if they are different this is known as collision uh, this i have already explained two different uh, string may have the same hash values now this was all for this lecture in the next lecture i'll be explaining you the rolling hashes how to calculate rolling hashes for a string and how to perform string matching using their hash values and after that we'll be following kmp search kmp algorithm not more spread string searching and string matching algorithm 
so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and if you have any doubt or query or suggestion you can always post it down in the comment section so thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you